So I've got piss sticks and shit sticks. So without this, I'm literally up shit creek. Hey amigos, how you going? I'm back with another video. I hope you're doing really well out there. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing very, very well and super excited. It's only about four and a half months to the big holiday, the dream. Uh, going to El Salvador and Mexico. Uh, going to El Salvador for 11 weeks. So 11 weeks in El Salvador. And if you don't know where El Salvador is, it's in Central America. It's a little country, the smallest country there. Um, yeah, very small country, but big heart in Central America uh, for 77 days. So going there for 77 days and then shooting over to Playa del Carmen in Mexico in the Riviera Maya uh, for two weeks. And this has been an absolute dream of mine for a very, very long time, for years and years and years. And I can't believe it's going to come true. But I just wanted to make a video explaining like how much planning there is and preparation there is, you know, having a disability, especially quadriplegia, especially, you know, going for so long, going for just over three months. So, um, yeah, let's get into it and I'll... Um, explain um and not like i've been planning this for years and i've written a list of all the things that i need to organize and plan you know i wrote that over a year ago just to make sure i had everything ready and yeah let's get into it so obviously going for i think it's uh 91 days um first things first like catheters okay so for those that know quadriplegic, that's a catheter. I like to call it my piss stick. A piss stick, that's what I call it. So I use 10 of these a day. I use 10 piss sticks a day on average, right? I drink a lot of water. So um, first things first, folks, like how do I get 900 piss sticks to El Salvador, Central America? So that's what I had to plan, like I'm in trouble without them. So um, I'm still in the process of working that out. You know, I was considering like, do I take 900 piss sticks with me to El Salvador in my suitcase, which, you know, it's never gonna fit. Or do I send them to El Salvador? Or do I buy them in El Salvador? And at the moment, um, I found a place in San Salvador, not far from where we're staying, uh, that actually stocks them. And I'll need to buy two thousand, two and a half thousand uh, dollars worth uh, for my time over there. So hopefully, um, yeah, they'll have them, and um, I'll buy two thousand five hundred dollars worth, and that's to last me the whole time. Like I say, I use ten a day. So the next thing that I need that is extremely important is you know my bowel routine. That's an enema. I've talked about these before. So this is my shit stick. So I've got piss sticks and shit sticks. So without this, I'm literally up shit creek and I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these. Obviously one a day, because I do my morning routine. Um, every morning I use one of these to, you know, go to the toilet, um, yeah, empty my bowels. So I'm gonna need one of them every day. So I'll need 91 of those and I'll just take them with me on the plane. Now, when you're traveling, and you're traveling with necessities like Bislax, medications, all this stuff has to go on your carry-on. You can't risk it being in your luggage. Um, you have to take it with you on your carry-on. So Bislax, um, tablets. Look, you need to take it with your carry-on because if you lose it, you're, you're up shit creek, like literally. So. Um, yeah, so, and what I also do, folks, here's another tip too, for those that have a, a disability, or even taking medication. So, I'm going for, in total, to El Salvador and Mexico for 91 days. I always take another two weeks worth of medication. So, I'll take 91 of these, plus another at least 14. Um, so, with my medication, so, I'll take enough medication for the 91 days, um, but then I'll also take an extra two weeks worth, because you don't know what's gonna happen. We, you know, I don't know, like, you never know what's gonna happen, and it's better to be, you know, overly prepared. So, so that's the piss sticks and the shit sticks out of the way. Oh, nearly. Then I've got another 
catheter or piss stick. Um, this is the one that I use on a plane. So this one, um, this one, uh, about a day before I jump on the plane, I put this in my, um, into my bladder and it just stays in there. And at the end of it, it's got a little tap. So what happens is on the plane, I just sit there and what's going to happen is, um, you know, when I need to go to the toilet, which might be once or twice, you know, the plane flight from Australia to Los Angeles is 16 hours. So, you know, I might need to go to the toilet at least once or twice. And what I'll do is I'll just sit there, put a, a blanket over me and pee into a bag and um, my wife will have to empty it on the plane into the toilet. So. Um, and that's what I do. Like I literally, once I'm sitting on the plane, that's it. I can't move. I just sit there for the next 16 hours. If I needed to go do a wee, that's what I have to do. I just pee in a bag and my wife will go, you know, dump it in the toilet. So, um, yeah, I'll need, I'll take about three of those with me. Just have one just in case as an extra spare, um, which is really important. And speaking of bags, so I have these bags here. They're just like a, um, a freezer bag. And like I said, I do 10 catheters a day. So I'll need 10 of these bags a day. So um, I have to take a whole bunch of these. So I'm gonna take 11 packets of these with me. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff. And I will take it with me in my, in my luggage. So that's that. Then I've got some Microdox, and this is just in case I get a bladder infection. So, when I get a bladder infection, um, I can either take antibiotics or take this. Uh, last time I had antibiotics about a year ago, I had diarrhea. So, I don't really want to get sick with a, a bladder infection, you know, on a holiday, on my awesome holiday and take antibiotics and have the risk of having diarrhea. Like, can you imagine if I had to jump on a plane or something like that? It would just be an absolute disaster. So um, this works really well. So I'll be taking three bottles of this with me um, in my luggage. And then or in order to put that into my bladder, I'll need 15 of these. So I need one, one two per day, um, for five days and then um, another one per day for another five days. So I'll take um, that with me. Um, that's just like a syringe, so I can syringe it into my bladder. Um, that's the solution. And what else we got here? All right, I've got my little list here, I've got everything going. So obviously being in a wheelchair, I have to make sure that my wheelchair is up to scratch. So before I go, I'll get, get it serviced, I'll get all the bearings checked, I'll get all the nuts and bolts checked. I'll make sure that my tires are really good. And, you know, these are the things that most people don't think about, have to think about, but an axle. That's the axle for my chair. Now, I've never had one of these snap in 24 years, but it happens, right? Um, and when they snap, you know, if I'm in, in Central America somewhere, um, yeah, it's better to have one of these spare. So I'll actually take two spare axles with me, just in case, just in case one snaps. And tubes. So tubes for my chair. Um, I don't get punches very often because my tires are made out of Kevlar. Um, they're a Kevlar material like a um, bulletproof vest. They don't actually get punches. But just in case, I'll definitely take um, three extra spare tubes and I use a shower chair and as you can see in the photo um, I've got a brand new shower chair this is just the frame and yeah I I'm getting a custom made seat at the moment so on top of this frame it's just a bare frame as you can see the silver frame I'll get this really padded it's, it looks like a toilet seat and um, yeah it's just super, super padded so it doesn't hurt me and I sit on that and that's where I have a shower, go to the toilet from and everything like that. So I've got a brand new shower chair. Um, I need to take that with me. I'll be taking an extra cushion with me on the plane as well. So preparing to go for a holiday, um, you know, one of the most important things when I'm planning and this is the first thing I do actually um, when I plan is where am I going? So, 
I'm going to El Salvador and it's tropical all year round. It's super, super hot. And I can't, my body can't regulate its temperature. So when I'm going on a holiday, what I really need to do is what time of year am I going? So the only time of year that I can actually go to El Salvador is December, January and February because it's the coolest months of the year. And luckily where I'm staying for most of the time, it's halfway up a very active volcano um, that has lots of earthquakes, but it's cooler. So average is about 20... In December, January, February, it'll average about 27 to 28 degrees every single day. And I can handle that. You know, I can handle that. But any other time of the year, it's like 36, 38 degrees. Like, um, and they don't have air conditioning in the houses. So when I'm planning a trip, I have to look at where I'm going, what time of the year can I go? Because if I went right now, you know, it's nearly, you know, it's July right now. If I went right now, no air conditioning, I'd literally have heat stroke and it just wouldn't be fun, you know? So I really have to plan that. So when I went to Bali, the only time of year that I can actually go to Bali is August because it's a little bit cooler. And I went there for two weeks and I had a really good time. Like, no heat issues at all. I didn't get overheated. Uh, but if I went there any other time of the year, um, I would be absolutely exhausted, have heat stroke all day, every day, and it just wouldn't be very fun. So that's, you know, when planning a holiday, I have to really look at what the weather's going to be like, when is the coolest time of year, and just the best time of year to go. And um, yeah, that's what I really need to do. So I forgot some medications uh, that I need to take with me, and I'll be right back in a sec. I'm back folks, I'm back. I've got some of my props to show you what I take with me. So obviously I take you know other medications too. So I take baclofen, this is for my spasms, the lid's off right now, but I'll need to take three bo bottles of those um, for the whole you know three months um, that I'll be there. And some hip reps, I take two of them every day. This actually prevents me from getting bladder infections. Um, but it doesn't work all the time. So if I do get a, a bladder infection, obviously that's when I need this stuff here. So there's so much stuff, you know, that I really, really need to take. So the other thing that I need to plan to is obviously, you know, where I'm staying. So it needs to be wheelchair accessible and we don't really, you know, get to, too much into this we don't really worry you know too much we try to find you know if we're staying in a hotel which we will be staying in Playa del Carmen in Mexico um, we we look for a roll-in shower and you know here's a picture right now of what a roll-in shower looks like it's literally just a flat floor and that means in my in my shower chair I can just roll from the bedroom you know straight into the shower have a shower um, there's no steps no lips and it just makes life a lot easier. So, you know, if we can find a um, yeah, hotel or resort with that, which we've, we've, we've looked at some and, you know, there's plenty around, uh, definitely makes life easier. But I have stayed in places that don't have um, a roll, rolling shower where the floor is flat and I just have to literally just shower next to... I just pretty much pour water on myself um, from the bathroom sink and kind of have a little shower like that. So, yeah, that's definitely something, you know, um, that we need to plan all the time. And I just want to share something with you too. I just found my passport um, from when I was just... This is just before my accident. I went to Bali in 1998, literally, you know, a couple of months before my accident. I found my passport and I just want to share it with you, my photo. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it shows up all right. I look like a bit of a criminal, but that's my, um, yeah, my passport from just before my accident. So definitely going to take my passport. Um, that's for sure. So yeah, it's super important. So that's what it takes folks to travel um, with a disability. There's a lot of planning. 
there's a lot of um, a lot of stuff to take, and if you don't take something, you can be in you know a lot of trouble. You can get into a lot of trouble, especially going to somewhere like you know Central America, El Salvador, Mexico. Um, yeah, I've never seen any too many people in wheelchairs there, so you know to find wheelchair parts might be a bit hard. So it's better to take them, you know, um, and all the stuff that I need to take, and um, really really happy with the, the hospital system and the doctors in El Salvador. Last time I was there for six weeks, you know, I got sick and I went there and absolutely amazing. I was oh, absolutely fantastic. So I'm not really worried about getting sick over there or anything like that. Um, cause I know, you know, they're absolutely fast, fantastic and I feel, feel safe and everything like that. So that's about it folks, I just wanted to share that with you, I'm super excited, can't wait to make some videos over there and show you around, and that's it. Alright, thanks guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day.